All right, and welcome everybody in Twitch chat. That is a pretty good thing, Angel. Just going to switch up standard, that's for sure. And of course, over on YouTube, if you're watching this in the future, we have our last run of Orzhov Knights before Ravnica Allegiance hits. Uh, this deck was surprisingly pretty good whenever we've played this deck. Um, you know, this was a deck that I just wanted to make and wanted to play, like, whenever I, I did make this deck, probably about a month ago now, um, I just kind of wanted to, to play some Black White Knights with Midnight Reaper and with the Knights, with a Johnny, and, you know, really try it out. And this deck has been surprisingly good. You know, I didn't, I didn't think uh, that... You know, we'd have a whole lot of success with it, um, especially playing like lands like Forsaken Sanctuary and stuff like that, and not looking like it's too powerful on the top end. But it's been surprisingly good, and I've uh, enjoyed the deck quite a bit. A Johnny has been awesome. Like it's the best card in our deck. Love, it's been loving it as a four of. It's like the card that we really want mm -hmm. to to play. We always want to have like two drop, and then another two or three uh, drop on turn three, and then a Johnny. And that's like the games that we. Um, that's the game so that we really win. So let's go ahead and try it out. See if we can end with a nice five win league. Orders of Knights. Hey, Matthew. Oh yeah. Johnny is great. Love it. That's a, that's a good planeswalker too. That's a well-designed planeswalker. All right. Yeah, we have 12 good two drops there. Um, hmm. It's weird. Angel, read something there at Twitch Prime for the third month in a row thanks angel hope everything's going great in uh in texas and let's see it's probably is not a keep man we have good mana though all right we'll try we'll try it out we're gonna have to we're gonna have to draw well but hey loving life that's always good to be loving life. I, I, I absolutely love life. Life is great. Ah, uh, sitting at work watching training videos. Hey, maybe. Um, yeah, I certainly hope whenever the weather gets better and everything to be moving back to Texas. I like it there. We'll see. But yeah, so that's uh, five subs on the day already, and we are just starting our first game. That is awesome. So thank you all so much. So that means I am adding a pack. So that's our going to be our fifth pack right now that we're going to be buying uh, whenever Ravnica Allegiance hits on Thursday. That's right, every five subs, um, adding another pack to the, to the queue. to the queue okay well we didn't get any two or three drops in our first three draw steps which is certainly what i what i was hoping for yeah yeah can't wait for thursday I haven't bought anything in forever yeah that's good stock yeah i gotta gotta stock up yeah thursday's gonna be sweet have they made an announcement yet about um when Meet. My beasts are much like more what, reliable. Like what what time on Thursday suits. that the sealed is going to be live? I still haven't I still haven't seen anything yet. Okay, perfect. 8 p 8 Pacific time, 11 a.m. Eastern. That's perfect. That's exactly when I was just kind of um presuming it would be. And so that's why I was going to do my 12-hour stream from Thursday to Thursday. Yeah, my prediction for Monday's band announcement is no changes in any format. All right, uh, okay. So RNA pack.
Ooh, you're predicting they're gonna ban Island. That's a bold prediction. I like it. Hmm. Hey, Yahweh. So Valiant Knight can like pair with a two drop, but I guess so can a Johnny. You know, presumably they just have like Ravenous Chupacabras and stuff like that in their hand. And whatever we play is going to die. Yeah, it's definitely possible that Modern gets sh shaken up uh, this time around. This is this would be a, a time that I could see that happening. Yeah, I don't think Nexus of Fate will, but that that honestly may be a good thing for Standard, especially with Worldless Reclamation coming out and everything. We'll see. Oh yeah, if you ban an, if you ban anything, people will complain for sure. If you don't ban things, people will complain. People just like to complain. That's what people do. Pretty interesting here. But they just didn't. It look kind of looks like they had contempt for how they were looking at the Valiant Knight kind of thing, but maybe they were just reading the card. Our kinship ensures our victory. You are capable of more than you assume. Valiant Knight is above finality now, though, so that's good. And of course, we want the white knight in this matchup with the with the hexproof from black. So drawing the black knights, not exactly the one we wanted, but oh well. Yeah, they have contempt. No, KCI does not play looting. Do do do, looking out my back door. Um, what if we just attack and activate Valiant Knights? Just attack, and then I'll play Vona if there's some blocks. If there's no blocks, we'll activate Valiant Knight. So we're attacking for lethal here. That's it. That's game. Opponent did not have did not have the instant speed removal spell and just didn't block. They weren't expecting it. No blocks. Take 18. All right, so Honor Guard comes on in. So we've been having some success with bringing in Honor Guard and not actually and just kind of trimming like Vona Valiant Knight. Not actually cutting the Adanto vanguards, like staying low to the ground. Like I kind of like this, or we can get rid of two. We can get rid of a couple of Malice of Knights. Malice of Knights, Knights of Malice. <laughs> Oh, Techstar. Always enjoy the stream. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Yeah, Midnight Reaper is a knight. So that's really cool. Yeah, that's, that's like a big addition to the deck. Oh, yeah. Love the armada of hype boats coming on out for Techstar. Thank y'all. <laughs> Midnight Reaper, yeah. They should just put a K in the middle of that. Um, do I want a blood fast? I don't think so. All right, here we go. All right. 
We won that game even though I did not expect us to win at all. Let's see if we can keep it up. Yeah, Angel, are you... Are you sure about that? Uh, why not Bloodfast? Um... It's in a YouTube video. Yeah, I guess you're right. So what's... So, yeah, it's... It's... That's a real thing. Alright, so what's the change? So now, you cannot open a fifth of a card at all if you have a... If every rare and mythic, you get 20 gems for each rare and 40 gems for each mythic. Wow. Wow. That is a, quite a big change. So changes with the new set release. And then they have ranked best of three at the end of the month. No, I don't I don't think there's an, they can't really do anything for all the extras you've already opened. Like that's just they can't really do anything about that. Hmm. I'm using Contempt on the Jade Light Ranger, not cast down here, because I wanted Exiled. I don't want them to be able to find Finality and Memorial to Folly and all that kind of stuff, get it back. And I'm doing it before blockers and everything, because otherwise, like, they'll just use Jade Light to block Knight of Grace, and then they would Contempt the Malice. Alright, so they'll, they'll use cast down. It makes sense for them to use cast down. Yeah, like, Jade Light Ranger's a good enough card that I don't want it in their graveyard. Hey, Lifer. Yeah, big, big change. That's a good change. It was not, I don't think it was a terrible system at all. Um, honestly, I, I thought that, that uh, with how much gold they give you, like, for, for free every day and everything, I thought, and for how much, like, magic costs... And like paper, magic online, all that kind of stuff. I thought it was a, a more than fair system for, or at least a fair system at the very least for how, uh, what Arena was. So them just giving you gems is, is pretty incredible. It was, it was slow if you, yeah, it was slow if you just start with an account and you're trying to build up like a collection of like five sets and everything. Is the kind of thing that was going to speed up over time, though, um, when you're only looking at trying to get the, the cards from one set at a time. But if you, if you try to imagine how expensive getting everything in standard would be paper-wise... No, I didn't think it was too bad of a system, but um, this is certainly a better system. So, yeah, this is certainly certainly better. Certainly a, a, a good change. Hey, Borderin. No, I mean, I haven't watched the update video. It just, like, I guess it was just announced, like, now, like, while I was streaming, basically. Or like while I was setting up stream or something. Just came out today. You should be proud to have come so far. Um So just gonna finality and kill my two knights. 
Oh well. So they're gonna finality and kill the knights. They're gonna trophy the Ajani. We still need you. So I missed one. So yeah. So somebody in chat was saying that I missed one damage for the previous turn. If I would have attacked with the Knight of Grace, there's a possibility they block with Midnight Reaper to draw another card and then just put the Midnight Reaper back in their I hand with, back with something. Down. I didn't really want to take that chance. Um, so it's it's a possibility I gained two more damage by not having that Midnight Reaper on the battlefield. I guess it would be one more damage because it would take one and then draw a card. So... I'm not sure. I I thought it was certainly worth it to just get the thing out of there and then attack. Good draw. Good draw. Yeah, it sounds like they're going to have ranked best of three now. Should we watch the video here on stream, do y'all think? What do y'all think? Like after this match, should I take time to watch the three minute video? All right. Yeah, everybody's saying yes. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's where we're going to watch that uh, after this match. Oh, no. That's awful. Okay. Vanguard, get to work. If you had every rare and mythic card in a set as a playset, you should be able to turn 30,000 gold into 30 packs. If you get one mythic and 10 packs. Like, I think the, I think it's always been one mythic and eight packs. Just kind of in, in general. Wow. Just for your math thing. Um, but I, I don't know. Matthew Ori, what's your point in, in like your statement of... I don't... What do you... So, like, what are you trying to say? Like, you just have a, a bunch of numbers there, but, like, what... What's... So, what's the point? Oh, you're, okay. So, you're saying it's nice. Okay. Yeah, well, I didn't. I, yeah, I just didn't know what you were. Okay, so yeah, so you're saying if you buy 30 packs, do not in fear, my 35 friend. packs, you make it enough gold there. So our opponent should have played the Midnight Reaper first. But it, then again, they may not want to take the one point of damage. I guess they, they can now a Johnny Minus. Yeah, and put it back into play. Heal. All right, hope they don't draw an explore creature. Hope they don't draw an explore creature. Uh, 
Oh, come on. Well, we're in trouble. Yep, sounds like ranked best of three coming in. I will lend you my strength. I don't think I can win from here anymore. That second finality got me really good. This, so yeah, this is game two. I don't have Vona in my deck anymore. Vona, I sideboarded Vona out. Um, I have I have Takali Honor Guards in the deck, but that's still. I don't think that really gets us there. So it looks like we're going to a third game. Deliver that second finality. I played I played my honor guard. I put my honor guard on the battlefield when I really didn't need to. And pretty much regret doing it. Alright, draw a card. We have one Contempt left in our deck. Which I, I need to draw that other con I need to draw that Contempt. To get rid of this Ajani. I wouldn't mind drawing an Ajani of my own. I don't think I have any more cast downs. I think I only have the two. I guess you can check check the deck list. Yeah. So I only have the two cast downs. So I've, I'm not going to be able to get rid of these walkers. So I have to attack through them, and that's kind of impossible. Look how far you have come. <laughs> yep, you can see Hawkeye back there. He's sleeping. Just attack. They can block two of them with Wild Growth Walkers. Trading, trading a, a Vanguard for a Llanowar Elf and drawing a card. That's good. 
It is good to see you, my friend. Be strong. I didn't donate 12 life to kill Lanwar, I did 9 to kill Lanwar and draw a card. The 9 life wasn't necessarily too valuable, but certainly need another card. So, wanted one of the vanguards to die. Hmm. Yeah, we got an in play if they want to use a Johnny Minus or Memorial to Folly or anything like that. So Vraska kills to Kali Honor Guard, then they minus and put Branch Walker back into play. I have so many ways to kill these Takalis. Hmm. Is there anything in the game that would tell you about the vault at all? No. No, there's nothing in here that lets you know about the vault. So this deck, sir, we have to hit four land drops. We, we can't really win if we don't hit our fourth land drop, which is why I want the 25 lands. So I kind of want to play Bloodfast. Kind of want to play Bloodfast. But not too much. Oh, there's a tip message during loading screens. Okay, there we go. Do I own an orange tie? Actually, I don't think I do. I do not think I do own an orange tie. Hey, dying slowly. All right. We got our two best cards. Honor Guard and a Johnny. Why no Golden Demise? Golden Demise is really only going to be for like the token decks. It kills a whole lot of our things in our deck. Um, and it doesn't doesn't kill Wild Growth Walker. It only kills some Explore creatures, not even necessarily like Jade Light Ranger. Like the only like two cards that Golden Demise is guaranteed to kill is Llanowar Elf and Merfolk Branch Walker. That's just not worth it to put that card in your deck. So I bought on that History Banalia because we don't have a fourth land and we weren't going to be able to play History on turn three. So like, we're looking at best case scenario playing History on turn four. And I'd rather have a Johnny on turn four. Ugh. We did not get there for a Johnny. 
This looks bad for us. I wanted to go with Johnny minus puts Kali Honor Guard into play. Yeah, no, my, my wish was not to play History on turn 4. My wish was to play a Johnny on turn 4. Which is why I scried it to the bottom. I'd much rather have Tsukali Honor Guard in play here so they couldn't just play J Light Ranger like that. Well, if I don't draw a land the next turn, playing the History Banalia, I believe, is going to be better for me, where I can play it and get the the chapters rolling, so that whenever the third chapter happens, I'll still have I'll have Midnight Reaper on the battlefield now for the third chapter next turn. Hey Eddie, doing good. Correct, Mac. Those could have happened, but now we're gonna have now we're gonna have a, a really nice next turn for us. no lands in this deck. So I gotta beat a Carnage Tyrant next turn. Not sure how we're gonna do that. Kept Carnage Tyrant there, even though they didn't have the land. Interesting. Alright, well, we can't beat Finality. So we're definitely hoping for no Finality. Looks like they're playing Finality, because they're tar they target the Jade Light Ranger. This is just a real disappointing game where we kept, you know, Mold of Six kept a three lander. And just didn't draw didn't draw a fourth land. Oh no, it's just another Doom Whisper. Okay. Well, we could draw a removal spell. Nope. Alright, so we play. Valiant Knight, attack out. I wonder why they kept that Carnage Tyrant then. Like a weird keep. Well, that was a really disappointing third game there. Couldn't get to Arajani. All right, so, um, so y'all were asking me to play this arena video here. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, um, you know you can skip through the next three minutes if you'd like, or this is the 
MTG Arena develop developer update. Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Clay, and today I'll be talking to you about the January update to MTG Arena. Is that we'll be okay volume for you? Bringing Ravnica Allegiance to the game, duplicate Thanks, production, and changes we'll be making to ranked in preseason two. All right, everybody, now we're going to talk about duplicate protection, which is probably what you're here for. When you're opening up cards in the booster chamber, we're going to use duplicate protection to ensure that when you're opening up a mythic or a rare, that you're obtaining a card from that set that you don't already own. When you do own all of the cards from a set, if you open up a rare or a mythic, we're going to turn it into gems. You'll receive 20 gems for a rare and 40 gems for a mythic. In limited... Okay, first of all, so they're saying you cannot open up a... a can I get subtitles? Is that a thing in a YouTube video? Okay. So if you can't get a, if you cannot open up a, a rare or a mythic, unless you know you can't open one up that you already have, then when you have all the cards in the set, how how do you know if you get a rare or a mythic? How do you know? Like how do you know which one you'll get? Like if. So, like, let's say you got all the rares. Are you just going to get a mythic every single pack then? Because you already opened up all the rares, so you'll just get a mythic every single pack. And then once you get it, once you get all the mythics, then... Which, that that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so the answer is no. Because that, that doesn't sound like it. Like, that would make sense. Um, like, that, that doesn't make any sense. So you'll just get gems? So, okay, so it'll just be like, hey, you got 20 gems this pack, or you got a mythic. Okay. Events, duplicate protection will not apply when you're opening up limited boosters. When you open up the boosters for either your sealed or limited run, once you have opened those cards or selected them in a draft, they will convert over into gems if they're a rare or mythic or vault progress if they're commons and uncommons that you're obtaining fifth copies of. What we're hoping all of this does is if you're a person who prefers playing limited events, you're going to be able to play more of them. And if you're somebody who's looking to complete their collection, then you will be able to collect cards for the collection more rapidly. With these changes, weekly rewards, daily rewards, the wildcard track all remain unchanged. The contents of the vault at this time also remain unchanged, though we're looking to play around with that in the future. One of the things that will be changing with the January release is the reward structure for constructed events. The number of individual card rewards will not be changing, but the upgrade rates will. For more information about those changes, you can read about it in the article linked below. Ravnica Allegiance adds 273 new cards to MTG Arena, along with five new guilds, Azorius, Rakdos, Gruul, Simic, and Orzov. Each guild brings a new keyword, which you can learn more about in the descriptions below. Starting on January 17th, you'll be able to open Ravnica Allegiance packs in the store and play sealed Ravnica Allegiance. Starting on January 18th, traditional draft will switch to Ravnica Allegiance. On January 25th, a special Ravnica constructed event will let you build decks from Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance. On February 1st, Ravnica Allegiance will come to ranked draft and preseason 2 will begin. Thank you everybody for your participation and feedback on our first ranked preseason. Starting February 1st, we'll be going into our second ranked preseason, and the biggest change is for Constructed, you will be able to rank up through best of three play. The limited event will also be seeing a change in that we're going to adjust the matchmaking, so initially it will pair you based on your win-loss record, and then it will look at your rank to determine if it is a proper pairing. We hope you enjoy all these changes as we go into preseason two in preparation for our first actual season of ranked. As with all of our updates, there are a ton of little details that we can't cover here. Look for all of those in the patch notes, and I hope you are all looking forward to Ravnica Allegiance. I'll see you in the game. Okay. So yeah, it looks, looks pretty sweet. You know, like, opening up packs, you'll be, we'll be able to open up uh, packs and get to our collection faster. So that's certainly good. That's certainly good. Um... Yeah. Is there a way to see all the decks you've uploaded to Stream Decker? Yeah. Um, just decks. Like that That link gets you to all, all my decks right there. Um, 
there are quite a few of them. I used to like delete the deck and re-add it, like whenever I change it and stuff. But I ha I stopped doing that whenever um, whenever I made the YouTube channel uh, because I don't want to take away the link like in the YouTube description. So um, yeah, so it's it's all like you can find all the decks there. Lots of them. What's the change to constructed event rewards? None. Um, I think they said that they're not not changing the rewards. Yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. Yeah, there's like the the direct link to the deck, and then exclamation point decks gets you all of them. So streamdecker.com/decks/toddstevensmtg. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, that's the the link there. Although they just said there was no changes. So there are changes now to... Doesn't seem like there's best of three for challenge mode yet. Um, but you know, it sounds like they're doing other things. Drop rates for the cards. Like less mythic and rares. Right, yeah, I know the drop rate changed, but there's... They, I don't think they are... Um, yeah, the card rarity upgrade rate, but that's not like the constructed. Oh, the card rarity upgrade rate. Okay, that part. Okay, I got. I see what you're saying there. That part is changing. Okay. Um. I usually like cast downing the land war elf, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait and try to curve knight history of Johnny. Um, but if they play like a wild growth walker that we need to kill, I'll cast down that. Right, but the actual events are not changing, though, correct? But yeah, you probably won't probably won't be, you know, like 33% chance of upgrading from a rare to a mythic. Okay. Well, no. No explore thing to go with Wild Growth Walker. Now we have the tough choice of playing a Johnny or Valiant Knight or just cast downing the Walker. I'm going to go ahead and, and go with the a Johnny. You do not have to fight alone. Strength is born of struggle. The next turn with Valley and I, we, if we get to Johnny take up again, we can make a lot of very large creatures. Yeah, no, those sound like really good changes. Well, I'm glad we did not uh, did not play the Valley and I last turn. Do I want to tick up again or tick down? If we tick up, we go to six. I'm gonna tick down. Return to the fight. For the best of three event, the amount of rares mythics you get is five wins plus five. For five wins plus. What what do those percentages mean, A Bucks? How does that mean the amount of rares and mythics you get? Like I'm, I'm not sure what that what those numbers mean. Okay, so you're getting 7.5% more rares, and 
then 73% less mythics. Well, I, so yeah, so that's why I wanted to play the Valiant Knight first to have it survive another finality. Um, wanted to tick up on a Johnny with that, so glad we did that. Will you be doing ranked best of three when it comes out in February? Probably not. I don't think so. Um, let's see. So we get our getting our honor guards in there, and gonna get rid of. Actually, I'm just gonna get rid of all the knight analysis. Let's do that instead of cutting vanguards. Um. Cut those. Get in three duress and one bloodfast. All right, we're gonna play the bloodfast this time. Bloodfast is a good permanent for the Knight of Grace. No, so, yeah, no, I'm not planning on doing the, the ranked best of three stuff still because, as y'all know, I, I like playing a lot of different decks and a lot of janky decks and everything here on stream. And I don't really want to, you know, be trying to play ranked matches with all sorts of different janky decks and everything. And I, I just like how these events are of like when you play until you win five or lose two. I think that's a that's a a good solid event. And um yeah, that's my plan just to to play that. Hey Haishin. Weekend was okay. Been a lot of a lot of cold weather here. Um I've been a tiny bit under the weather. Um just, just a little bit. And uh so it hasn't been necessarily the absolute best, but it's been okay. You know, I took Saturday off, but we're back at it. We streamed yesterday, and then we have today, tomorrow, where we're kind of playing 12 of our, 12 of the decks that I enjoyed quite a bit um, for the last standard season here. And then I'm taking Stand Wednesday off, I will lend you and strength. then Thursday, 12 hour, Thursday's 12 hour stream. Um, we're going to be playing lots of Ravnica Legions, trying to build our collection up. So this is, it's kind of a weird attack. Or like a, this is a tough choice. So the problem with this attack is, let's just say they don't block, they go to 16. That's probable. They have a cast down or a contempt, something like that. They kill Honor Guard, then they get to swing lethal at a Johnny. And that's not really what I, I want. I don't want to expose a Johnny like that to take lethal damage. Um, hmm. I know I have two other honor guards, but honor guard is really close to surviving a finality. Yeah, on Thursday the new set will be on you are Arena. Capable of more than you assume. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm planning on streaming from eleven to eleven on Thursday. Eastern Look time, 11 to 11. So won't won't be waiting until 3 o'clock to start. Uh, I went real well with my value yesterday. I'm pretty sure, uh, pretty sure we ended up with five wins. Yeah, I think we ended up with five wins. So it went went real well. Our opponent got a Takatli Honor Guard out themselves. What? Why did they grab Honor Guard? They could have got a Danto Vanguard. They didn't need to get Honor Guard. Ah. All 
All right, so if I chump block with the Valiant Knight, I get to ultimate a Johnny, and I think that's worth it. I brought some friends. I should have discarded another Vanguard instead of an Honor Guard. Alright, we'll see if a Johnny ult can win. We haven't won this game automatically yet. Like, this game's not over. Gosh, just resolve. Vedanta Vanguard is a really annoying card to play on here. Let's get that thing out of here. And attack. With just this. Johnny Ult's still pretty powerful, but it doesn't mean we necessarily just win the game immediately. It'll take a while. We're going to have to try to get some good value out of all these 1-1s. One -ones. Yeah, yeah, you get less rares for the entries, but for what they're I've doing with so like the packs already. and everything, it's I, no certainly one knows worth the it. Wilds like I do. It's a good draw. So we're not going to be able to kill Vivian this turn. And I'll go ahead and pay the four life with us gaining eight. Okay, so you've got claws. Dante Vanguard means you have to click on every single little thing. Maybe I should just let it die. That's a good card. Bangarang with the sub here. That's sub number eight on the day. That gets some hype. So we're two subs away from adding another pack to the RNA pack count. Thanks, Bangarang. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna lose this. Finality is just such a good card against my deck. This, I mean, our, our deck just really struggles with finality. And, you know, they've played a couple of them now. Come to me. Yeah, wait for the new content right now. Wait, wait for like the new set and everything. Uh, phone notifications. Okay. 
Yeah, finality. Too good. Duress, he came too late. So I have the duresses in to be able to take the finality. Um, yeah, not changing anything. Just hoping to be a little faster. Yeah, he could have multiple Johnny emblems, in theory. Sure, Spanky. Yeah, that'd be that'd be nice. Whew. Deck's not helping us out. I need them to wait one turn on that uh, on that finality that other game. You know, I had. I had two creatures at four toughness there that they got to kill without finality. Really need to wait like one turn. So they have cast down. So I play, play Midnight Reaper, it gets cast down. Keeping Golden Demise. Interesting. Come on, deck. We stride a land to the bottom. Profane Procession is is pretty slow, but it's just it's so bad against like Vivian. And if they have four mana Vraska. Well, I can't beat that card. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what they want over that card honestly. I can't I can't possibly beat it. Hey two nails. Yeah, this is gonna be a loss. We can cer certainly be Golgari with this d deck, but it's not it's not like a good matchup for us. Um, but yeah, not, not withdrawing seven lands. This deck really relies on curving out. And mulling and then having seven lands. All right, well, we know two with Orzhov Knights. A couple tough ones against Golgari. Um, wish that we were able to kind of play a different matchup there, but... Yeah. That was a tough one. That'll happen, though. Um, still really like the deck, how we talked about before and everything. We honestly do not get wrecked versus Golgari. I have a, I think I have a winning, I uh, over fifty percent win rate all time against Golgari, but certainly lost a lot to the deck also. And my hand was just horrendous. My hand would have lost to anything. But yeah. So there we go. But yeah, can't beat finality, ever. Um, and that's of course a, a big problem for our deck. Profane Procession is real good against like your uh, the blue red and blue black matchups. Like they struggle with the enchantments more, and they have like basically like your Niv Mizzet, Nickel Bolas decks, and stuff like that. I don't like it against Golgari because of how weak it is to Vivian and and how it kind of sits out there and everything. So finality is a tough one for us. All right, so that's uh, Orzov Knights. Uh, if you were, were watching this on YouTube later. Uh, you know, feel free to hit the, the subscribe button on YouTube. And, of course, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.